does what it do. You don't see crew. It's your boy Zeddy Chunk Chunk. And I am back again with another breaker for you guys. And I'm kind of banging this system up. Bang! And today I have. Hello, and today we're doing. Longhorn Steakhouse. Yes, ZCC family. Today we're doing Longhorn Steakhouse. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you guys know steak is our favorite <laughs> meal. We love steak with a passion. Uh, the Outback Steakhouse by us is currently closed, so we decided to do Longhorn. Um, we are going to get a prayer, thumbnail, we're going to dive in. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's get a thumbnail. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. And we can die. Man. So, right now, it is what, like seven something? Yeah. <laughs> it's 7.50, right? This is my first time eating today. And I just want to make a pre-warning. I've been seeing some uh, messages in the, uh, when did you, oh, I have to say, wasn't supposed to be loaded, but uh, stuff's over there. Yeah. I've been seeing some uh, comments in the comment section down below that you guys, that, that uh, click clacking, and you guys think it's my teeth. It's really not my teeth, it's my tongue ring. This is always hitting my tongue ring. That's what's all that click clack is from. I really appreciate everybody concerned about the health of my teeth, but I promise you, it's from, uh, it's not from my teeth, it's from the, uh, the tongue ring. But uh, yeah, mm. first time eating today. Nicole, what'd you eat today? I had a leftover pizza from my mukbang. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. And I had a um, beef jerky, I mean not beef jerky, the Slim Jims. I had one of those. Mm. But way earlier in the morning. Did you do your normal routine this morning or no? Did I what? Do your normal routine this morning? No, I did not. I switched it up a little bit today. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I have the 22 ounce Longhorn Porterhouse steak. Nicole? Mm. So, I have the ribeye. The 20 ounce ribeye. <laughs> 20 ounce. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted to go beast mode today because they didn't have her uh, prime rib. Prime rib cut today. My bad. Well, they took it off the menu, they said overall. Yeah. I don't know why? if it's quarantine or. Quarantine Or. Uh, Sorry, I keep on holding I don't this. know if it's that or. I'm going to cut it down here. Uh, just try to eat it up here though, so you can see what we got going on, you know? Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it. So, I don't know if it's quarantine or what. I think that's the reason, or, or I don't just, know, maybe people just, just don't, don't order it that much. Yeah. yeah. That's so weird though. I don't know. Just like, um, what is it? Is it lobster tails that people don't order that much for seafood down here? Didn't we ask? Oh yeah. I said, um, they took lobster tails off. Yeah, like a lot of places took lobster tails because people don't order enough. Mm. It's just so weird. That's the cut inside my medium rare. To me, this is looking medium. Yeah, yours is. To me, as well. But this was at the edge, though. Mm. This part's a lot of fat. How's it tasting? So good. Yeah, that's all that. Mmm. So uh, amazing. So mm. yeah, um, ribeye, twenty ounce, loaded baked potato. We have peppers. Oh, we garlic, have garlic. Um, garlic butter with peppers and jalapenos, shrimp, dumpling asparagus, and broccoli. And then I have- There's a sauce for this. I think it's a ranch. Oh, no, yeah. Cause that's your Caesar sauce. And then I have a Caesar salad on this They're, side. It's called their wild shrimp. Yeah, wild shrimp. The long run wild shrimp or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I'm back to drinking my flavored waters. Yeah. I'm this one's peach. Now, don't mark my words, because I'm probably going to be in some up bands. But I'm trying to get away from soil a little bit. I am too. I've been uh, 
Only reason why I've been going crazy is because we started buying it for the house. We never used to buy soda for the house. And we in stopped. Ohio, we didn't have soda in the house. Did we shop at Sam's Club too? I don't know. Because me, mm -hmm. it, it's the fact that it's coming in bulk. Yeah, we did because we got the chips. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we used to never buy soda for the house and now we're starting to. And I think we should. Should we stop? I don't know. Well, I don't. Yes. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. We were originally buying it for when guests come over. Yeah, that's what it was for. <laughs> but, you know. Nicole switched up the rules to that real quick. No. Mm -hmm. I will admit, I have a very, very, very bad sort of problem. I <clears throat> did since I was little. It's always been a thing? Mm-hmm. Was it always Coke? Mm-mm. What was your favorite soda? My mom then? always had Diet Mountain Dew, and I don't know why. I feel like Mountain Dew is very addicting to people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> people love it. My uncle love. I'm not my uncle. My grandpa. That's like his favorite soda, and he drinks crazy amounts. Where he should be sponsored. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you say yours is Sprite? Oh yeah, that's one, definitely my favorite. But today I have water, great flavor water, just some leftovers. And then with Arizona, I know it's probably just not as healthy, and a mini water. Everything is halfway drinking except for this mini water. <laughs> Cause we don't just throw drinks away if it's halfway, we just throw, put it back in the fridge. And I don't even care if it's Nicole's or mine, I'm gonna just drink it, whatever's left over. Lately I've been doing really good with that. <clears throat> Because honestly, I used to just leave those alone and have to have a new yeah. drink. <laughs> and I will grab a new one, but no, I honest, I've been drinking them a lot lately. <laughs> I always get that bad in the stick. Well, you won't have to worry about that soon. <laughs> Speaking, so, the reason why she said that, because she's talking about moving out. <laughs> But not in that way, like like mad, like oh, you don't have to worry about. No, that not like that. But um, no, oh, yeah, Nicole's starting to get prepared, y'all. I am. To move out. Very, very excited. You are. Why so excited? It was my first time living on my own. And I know you guys may say, well, we heard this conversation before. But the reason why we say that is because we were talking about this earlier. I'm like, oh, we should talk about this on video because it's getting closer and closer to that day, you know? Mm -hmm. And we just talk about the little details of moving out, things that she would just have to be prepared for, and like just little concerns like, should she get a, a small house or get an apartment, you know? Yeah. What's safer? Where should she be at? You know? Mm -hmm. Things like that. Stuff like that. And then when we were actually talking about it, I was thinking, like, should I start buying, like, like utensils or something and then keeping it in a bin uh -huh. upstairs so that I don't have to worry about that when I we actually do move mm -hmm. out. That's good. I'm buying plates and Yeah. Like all the essentials for a house. Uh-huh. The dollar tree run. Mm-hmm. That too. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be fun and exciting. Plus on top of it like with everything going on, um, coming up, you yeah. know, when will I have the time to do? I mean, like, yeah, you can always do it when you move in, but I like to be prepared and have a schedule. <laughs> yeah. Right, Dalvin? I'm a total opposite. <laughs> I'm a living in the moment kind of guy. I just like to live life. And pretty much, when life lands your lemons, <laughs> you make lemonade. <laughs> That's the model I go by. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with the topic, though. Like, what? Because yeah. the thing is, this whole point of me saying it was because I, you know, I just like to live life in the moment. But 
me when the life of Andrew Lemons thing did not relate to that at all, you know. And I cut my stick different, I know. Who cares? Get over <laughs> it. <laughs> and I cut my stick. <laughs> That's funny. It was so random. Mm. <laughs> this is not how I hold a fork, though. No, I hold, I hold a fork like this. Just the way I cut my steak. But see, yeah, it's getting more medium rare on the inside. Yeah. Like closer to rare, you know? I feel like the last couple of times you haven't been getting your steak right. <laughs> well, whenever I go to Longhorn Steakhouse, I don't know why I didn't just listen to myself though, but if you like your steak medium rare, I recommend medium, because there's gonna be more on the rare side. Outback, they are typically good with the medium rare, you know? Mm hmm But yeah. But I never got a medium from uh, Longhorn yet. I gotta try it, because they're rare. Medium rare be sometimes a little bit more on the rare side. Mm hmm mm. Well, we go there enough. I really want you to try Steak 48. <clears throat> have you been there yet? No, I have not. So good. So good. Best steak. Mm. Is it the best steak? Um, I don't know if it's the best steak. It's just a really good place. And we got like, for our sides, like I want to say it's like some kind of mac and cheese and greens and mmm. It was so good. <clears throat> What is this? Huh? You and your little date? No, I told you. Oh my goodness. I must drop. Ooh. We went for um what's her name's birthday? Mmm. Do you know who I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. But if you know what I'm talking about, then why'd you say oh mm -hmm. yeah. But listen, if you're taking off the skin, how come we just get a loaded mash? What? How come we didn't just get a loaded mashed potato? That's what this is. That's a loaded baked potato. Whatever, who cares? And you're taking off the skin, so you just could have got a loaded mashed potato. Who eats the skin? So then why not get a loaded mashed potato? I don't know, no, no. <laughs> You have stuff in your teeth. Just so you know. <clears throat> I'm just trying to help you out. I'm just trying to help you out. <laughs> no, but yeah. What is that? I'm really excited. Um, okay. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's your first time venturing out on adulthood by yourself. Very excited. Mm. Well, I was telling Cole that, uh, um, what? Huh? <laughs> Did you hear me? Mm -hmm. I said what I was telling Nicole is um that definitely sounded clear to me. Uh uh. Want I heard I gotta take that piece out. I don't know if that. Uh, I thought her phone real. So today, while we took so long to get ready uh, to do this mukbang, because we usually get our mukbang done at like 3 p.m. It's because we got some new stuff came in today. A new chandelier mm. for the living room, which I know I hear in all this, like, well, she's moving out, you know, what's the point? I don't know if I'm staying in this house or want to go get an apartment, because obviously this is too much house for your boy Chunk Chunk, I believe. But I do love this house. Me too. It's a good house. So, but uh, we ended up getting a chandelier. This is something like we've been had and it just came in. It's like we just went freshly and bought, you know? So it's not like, why buy stuff for the house if you don't know what you're saying? It's something that's been like off the financial list. It's not fresh, you know? And we got chandelier in the living room, chandelier in the dining room, and a new bed frame in the guest room. And a new uh, TV stand in the uh, movie theater room. Mm -hmm. 
So, and, and if you guys follow me on Snap, you were able to see the chandeliers. So people who are always claim they want a house tour. Listen, it's not me. Let me explain that to you. I'm waiting for my editor. My editor recorded my house tour and I'm waiting for him to edit it. The reason why we don't have an editor now is because he's working for a reality TV show, but he's trying to at least get that house tour out for me. But he's working on a reality TV show. That's what's holding us back right now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Because... Mm -hmm. I know you guys ask all the time, where's it at? You know? Guess who even called me and asked me, where is it at? My mom did too. <laughs> my mom called me and said, boy, we upload the house tour. Because my mom's being, my mom recorded the house tour too. So, the reason my mom's on me is because she wants to upload her house tour of my house. And I'm telling her, wait, let me upload mine first. And she's waiting, she's waiting for me to upload mine, but she's like, when are you gonna upload it? You know? <laughs> so you guys are gonna get two house tours, same house. This is two different ones. One for me and one for my mom. <laughs> And then I kind of did one on my channel, but just the bathrooms because I decorated them. But the clothes is out already. Yeah. So. I'm going to close the go check that out. But as you guys can see, the clothes been going crazy on the channel. Because mm -hmm. she's trying to get, you know, in the flow of doing this herself, you know? Yep. Mm. Trying to get it together. I think. <clears throat> do you think the flow is coming back to you? I do. I really think it's like it's it's going really really good right now. Like I I'm used to editing. Like I'm not like dreading it. You know. Like I. Yeah, you're not caring about it. like. You're not caring about the outcome. Just you know, just do it. Just get to it. Right. You know? Yeah. 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 Because I was like. What I was. Go ahead. I'll, I'll before I was so like. It has to be this way and it has to be perfect and da da da. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just like, you know what? Let's just get this out and, you know, the ones who actually like me will be okay with it and then the haters will hate. So, yeah. whatever. So, that's, just, that's what I was just going to say, too. That's the point, you know, I really got out of you because at first, I ain't gonna lie, when I first hopped on YouTube, my plan was to bring up nothing but bangers. I, I want every video to be a pure banger. I didn't want nothing to be weak. I'm like, this is my content. I don't want nothing to be slacking. I need everything to be hit. And this is when I first started, first started meeting. This before I even introduced Book Wong's on. And then I was like, all right. I mean, you start to learn this is hectic. Mm -hmm. You just can't have bangers all the time. You can't have it, you know. There's some people who can, you know. Some people are just plugged in with the two, yeah. Ace Family, you know, people like that. But <laughs> not everybody's plugged in. You just gotta put it out there. So just gotta put out content. You know? Put it out there, and then even if it doesn't do all that great, at least you're still you still got paid. Yeah, you're still getting mm. paid. But plus, you like you know you're you're constantly putting. Like I've been uploading all, almost every. I skipped one day. I want to say for the past seven days, mm -hmm. I've been on a roll, so. Well, you've been doing it every day? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're going crazy. Mm-hmm. You're going crazy. I think I skipped Sun, no, not Sunday, Friday. One of those. I do every other day. I don't go that crazy now. <clears throat> no, like I'm legit trying to go hard on my channel. That's good. Right. Damn. And one comment I want to talk about on too, and I know you guys just heard me say, and you make more money, you know. Yes, I do this to get paid. YouTube is not a hobby. Eating food is not a hobby of mine. You know? Now here's where my saying comes into play. My mom introduced me to this. YouTube is never my passion. But I got an opportunity and I took full advantage of it. So when life gives you limits, <laughs> Make lemonade! <laughs> and that's what I did. <clears throat> I gave me some lemons and I made some lemonade. And that's a good this is some good lemonade. That's lemonade mm -hmm. tasting. This lemonade tastes pretty great. All because of our supporters, and I really appreciate you guys, man. If it wasn't for you guys, obviously no, this is not possible. It's so cliche, but it's so true. Very you true. That, you know, it's it's crazy like how cliche things sound like, yeah, yeah, but it's facts. YouTube is YouTube because of supporters. Yeah, for sure. 
yeah i really want to just start getting like you know closer to you guys and they're so supportive and you can have a bad day or if i post something saying oh, i'm having a bad day on snapchat i'll have so many people message me if i post it on instagram i have so many people message me you guys are so supportive and i'm so appreciative so so appreciative of you and even besides of even besides the point of you guys supporting me and uh you know this is how i get paid you still are the best thing that happened to our lives though because of just the support system that comes with it mm -hmm. you know yeah for sure like like the videos i don't really like but i upload i get so many people like i loved your video and I thought it was like the worst thing ever, or I looked terrible, but everybody shows so much love. Mm. And that's what keeps you going. Uh -huh. You guys, keep going. No. We don't get the supporters enough praise on this side. Uh -huh. Oopsie daisies. Cole bought me the shirt, you guys. I feel something on it. I apologize. Mm. I don't know. Have you had any shrimps? Yeah. Very good. Your steak is very thick. Mm hmm. Thicker than mine, I feel. Mm hmm. Hmm. Really super thick. This meal gets me full every time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty full. Man, you know, I, I want know. a bite of my salad. I, mean, we're at, oh, I thought I said 27. I'm like, whoa, time went by fast. We're at 22. It still went by fast. Mm hmm. Because you know, we'll be ready. If you say 13 minutes, I'm like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's, well, some people might know what we're talking about because they know how it is. <laughs> but on, uh, how you liking the chandelier, though? And, uh, I love it. Dining table chandelier. So much. It's diamond out, crystal out. It's not real diamonds, obviously. Ain't no real diamonds. <laughs> Because you know how people say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not diamond, it's crystal. Big crystals. It's not real diamond, it's not. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I just I hate when I have to explain myself. So that's the reason why I just said mass so and I don't like it. <laughs> oh my God. But I just know. <laughs> some people understand what I'm saying, but there's some people in the back row. In the back of the back rows that need to hear me, and mm -hmm. I just make it loud and clear. Mm -hmm. and I was in the comments like, "Oh wow, I see you trying to brag about diamond chandeliers, not diamonds. <laughs> it's crystals, fake crystals. <laughs> <laughs> not bragging at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm just proud of what we got. Yeah, I'm proud of what we got chandeliers, the house coming together. Honestly, all we need, legit." Well, the game room hasn't even been started yet. Uh, we gotta, if I were to stay here, I need to get a pool table and a, or a tennis table. I really like mm. tennis. I love tennis. Tennis? Mm -hmm. Ping pong? Ping pong. <laughs> Nicole's one of the people in the back. I you guys know what I mean, but. Oh, so you're gonna have a little bachelor pad, huh? I like the ping pong table. So you don't need your salad right now. You sure you want to use your salad right now? Yes. Okay, I was just making sure. Okay, I don't know. You want salad. it? No, I don't, I don't, I don't really like Caesar salads. But it's not that I don't like them, but I just don't prefer them. Mm. But I eat them well. I know. <laughs> what do you mean? I, know. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't mean it like, wait, did you get some? Don't worry about what I He asked you if you wanted this or that. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about what I want. No, you can't. Because you uh, broccoli and what you I can do whatever I want. All right. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Today, Nicole has been, let's just say she. Every button I have available, even my belly button, she's been pushing them. <laughs> she's been pushing them. Did you show them your earrings? No, I didn't think it was a thing to show showcast. Well, I just seen him. But um, yeah, I I got a whole new style over the weekend. Then I the clothes mad. If I if I start if I start to look good, the clothes get mad. Now I took my hair down though. Uh, I took the braids down, and you know got the little line on. You know, <laughs> what are you mad for, the call? That one goes like this. <laughs> no, I really this. don't. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's not lying. I, I just I was showing the hairline. The reason why I have my hair back is because I have a hairline. With dreads, if you have all your dreads forward like this, there's no point of getting a line. You know, I want to show off my I want to show off my hairline. Guys are proud of their hairliners, and I can be one to admit I'm really proud of my hairline. I love when I get a hairline. It's just you don't know how a hairline makes a man feel. I really don't. Oh my gosh, it's one of the most amazing feelings in a row. Fellas, go in the comment sections and tell her. It's not, you don't feel it, feel it, like emotion, like, ment I mean, not physically feel it, but you mentally feel it. And, man, you feel like you're on top of it. You feel like you're the king. When a man gets a line, you feel like you're the king of the world, and you feel like you can pull Beyonce. Every really? guy does. Every guy does. Not just me. Not all even the ugliest man, if he gets a line, he feels like he could pull Beyonce. It's just, this is just how we feel. Ladies, I know some ladies couldn't understand, like, probably know how a man feels after they get a line, you know? We just feel great. So I'm on the shelf my line. But this line is actually three days old, you guys. Is it not? Mm hmm I got this line on Friday. So I kept up pretty well with it. I wear a do rag to sleep and I put it over my ear and over here so it doesn't mess up my line and you know. Oh, so you just don't care? How does a new wig make you feel? Like Beyonce? No. Does it really make you feel that way? What makes you feel like, oh my, what about like getting your toe, like probably how girls get their toes and nails done or nah? Uh, it's probably more my nails and hair so if you get your nails and hair done you feel like you're just mm -hmm. the baddest thing walking mm -hmm. that's how you know that's how fellas feel even though we know we're not it's just you know the, it's a great feeling so like it's a very it's a high boost in, in self-confidence <clears throat> yeah i would say hair first and then nails well if you get basic nails, then it's like, hey, okay, okay. But if they're all blinged out, then you gotta go like this and like kind of show. See, them the off. thing is, is I know, I know when the cold, because I remember when you got your hair done in Ohio, you went in the mirror in our long mirror. We have a body mirror that's hung up, and she was doing this. <laughs> but, you know how girls and, and looking back in the mirror like. <laughs> I don't know what's the, what is the point of doing that. What do you, what do women do that for? Waving your hair back and forth for you doing. That's the same as you going like this. No, I'm showing my lining off. So what? You showing your length? <laughs> Alright. Length well, for girls <clears throat> is a big thing. So it gives you guys the full confidence. Yeah. That's what's up. I probably still have to sting my teeth through. Uh, mhm. Mm Here. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Mm. The video is about to end off. Mm, smiley. Mm. But um, the video is at 28 seconds. Nicole, oh, you can finish your salad though. I mean, 28 minutes. We, yeah, you got probably about 10 seconds to go ahead. <sighs> no, I'm with you. no, I don't make it. I don't want y'all say I'll rush her because Nicole is just as full as me. Don't let her play that role. Otherwise, we can hit record again. I'm full, but. Nicole, you, said you can finish your salad. Nicole, we're gonna find you that. <laughs> YouTube and Instagram is Nicole, of course, and on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook is Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. And make sure you guys go follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok, all is Zed and Chunk Funk. That is Z A D D Y C H U N K C H U N K. But Z C C Family! My voice sounded crazy. <clears throat> I apologize, you guys. But as we all know, <laughs> the grind never <laughs> stops. It's the ZCC game, game. It's, it's on top. top. Let's, Let's get, get it! This is how much steak I had left over. Show me yours. Mm. So you're hungry? Mm -mm. I'm gonna save this for later. And that one for later. No. Uh-huh. I don't think so. Yeah. No. Showtime, the whole place hopping, stage rocking. That's for those who stay watching. For when my tape dropping, long as the bass knocking, I stay popping. I'm trying to run this shit forever, like I'm Bay watching.